were the Padres a good fit for you? Why did you? What, how do you see yourself fitting with this team? Uh, there's a lot of excitement here. You know, and anywhere there's an ex exciting, you know, atmosphere, um, young talent, a team that can that can make waves quickly. It's it's always fun to be a part of. I don't know if it's just me or it's something that, you know, as a ball player you want to be a part of. Um, so I'm looking forward to it. Getting that World Series, I'm sure. How, how exciting was that for you? And then can that translate into a clubhouse that hasn't experienced something like that? Can some of those experiences translate? Uh, maybe, yeah. I think, you know, you, after spending half a season with, with the Red Sox and understanding how a championship team operates, you know, day in and day out, I think can help. Um, and I think that's that's really it, just preparation for for every single game. And to be a champion, you gotta you gotta bring it every day. I mean, there's no breaks. Um, at this level, you have to you have to bring your best every day if you want to win a championship. And um, you know, last year was was refreshing for me to get to get back into that environment. You just won your second Gold Glove a month later. You're sitting out with AJ <clears throat> Preller. He's mentioning the possibility of playing third base, coming off the bench. Are you expecting that? Are you surprised, taken aback by that? No, I'm not really expecting anything. I'm expecting the, to play my best, um, show what I have, show that I can still that I can still play this game at a high level, and and go from there. Um, and that's really it. And you're open to those things, obviously. Yeah, I think you just play that by ear. You see what the team needs. Um, you see you see what the situations are, and and how you can help the team, and you go from there. You're asked to play third base. How do you think your skill set defensively translates? No idea. Never done it. But we'll find out. Maybe. Or not. Wait, what? <laughs> what goes through your head when you think you might play it or you might be having some experience there this spring? Is it exciting or is it? Um, no, I mean, it, you know, it's I, I played on the left side of the infield my whole life, really, until AAA. I played shortstop. So it's it's very similar. I mean, I have two innings under my belt, so I'm, I'm a seasoned vet. At third base, and I don't expect any challenges. How did those two innings go? Uh, I got one ball, and the guy was out at first, so I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm thousand percent fielding percentage. You, you saw remember Will what? Myers having to learn that on the fly last year. I mean, how hard is it to switch positions? Well, I think like it's that? it's a little a little bit different for a guy like Will, who's yeah. who's been in the outfield. Yeah. Um, you know, once once you go to the outfield and you, and you lose touch of the speed of the game in the infield, it, it becomes extremely difficult. And obviously, third base is, you know, potentially the fastest position in, in the infield. So for a guy like Will, it's it's a lot more difficult. Um, I think the transition might be a little bit easier for me, but um, you know, it's, you just kind of play it by ear and, and and try to make the adjustments as you go. Do you remember what do you think about the possibility of a 20-second pitch clock? It's going to be used during the spring as a hitter. Um, I'm not really concerned with this on the field, speeding up the game stuff. That's not that's not one of my concerns at all. Um, from the numbers that I've read, I think we improved by five minutes. So if viewers are concerned about five minutes, then they need to maybe watch another game or, or you know try something else. Um, I think they can hang on for five extra minutes in, in a baseball game. You know my my concern really with. With uh, with everything going on right now in the state of this this game is just the, the free agent, the free agent market, arbitration, um, you know the whole process. I think it just we need we need a refresher um, on both sides. You know I don't think it's just just the owners and the general managers. I think the players have a part of it, and um, you know we need to figure out how to how to keep peace and, and move this game forward. I don't you know as far as pitch clocks and stepping in and out of the box and. You can only face three three hitters, or you bring a guy in, he's got to face three hitters, stuff like that. It's whatever. You know, I don't, I don't think that should be a concern right now of this game. When you say that the players have to take a step back and, you know, reset themselves, what do you mean? Um, I think they just need to, I think players and agents need to understand that it's a, it's a different market now. Um, I think players are still, still valued, and I think we'll see that in the next couple of weeks. Uh, how valued the superstar players are, um, but I think I think that you know just as far as the system is concerned, I think that both both sides you know it takes two. It's not just um, the general managers, general managers, and the owners that are that are holding the torch here. I think that um, there needs to be adjustments on both sides. What about the possibility of either having Machado or Harper join you as teammates this year? I mean, it's exciting. You know, hopefully that happens. Um, if it doesn't, I don't think anybody's going to blink an eye. We're all going to continue to work hard. 
uh, prepare for the season. Like I said, you know, at the beginning is there's a lot of excitement here, and you can kind of feel it. Um, you can feel it in this camp, and, and obviously that'll add to the excitement. Uh, did the circumstance of free agency weigh into your decision to sign in December? Was there any thought to waiting and see what else there might be out there? No, honestly, um, I had some pretty good opportunities all kind of come together at the same time, and um, you know I felt like this was a really good fit for me and just kind of jumped on it. What is most concerning, if at all, about the way free agency is going and the way it's changed and what's happening now? I don't know. I'm not a lawyer, I'm just a ball player, but you know, obviously. Uh, everyone, it's been talked about, you know, I think everyone understands the way the free agent market is, has gone the last couple of years. Uh, I got a son and he's a baseball player, probably he's going to, you know, play the game and I want to leave this game better or at least the same as when I came in. So, you know, I think that's the concern is just trying to, trying to keep peace and, and moving the game forward and um, being fair. That's, that's really it.